Developing this noon, investigators in California are sorting through boxes of evidence pulled from two Los Angeles homes where the mother and father of the suspected mass shooter from UC Santa Barbara lived. Now, police say 22-year-old Elliot Roger opened fire outside the Alpha Phi sorority house, a deli, as well as eight other locations in the small college town. Six people were killed, three of those stabbed in Roger's apartment. Thirteen others were hurt as Roger drove madly through the streets on Friday, firing out of his window and using his car to strike bicyclists and pedestrians. Authorities say he crashed his black BMW and was found dead after apparently shooting himself in the head. In his car, more than 400 rounds of ammunition and three semi-automatic handguns, all legally purchased by and registered to him. And just minutes before the shooting started, Roger left behind a chilling YouTube video. You see it right there. After a disturbing 137-page manifesto, both of them detailing his jealousy and hatred, especially towards women, who he blamed for a life of loneliness. We now know Roger's family contacted police only weeks earlier, concerned about his increasingly disturbing online rants. Roger even sending them a message they worried about so much that they started driving to their son in person. It was at that time he was carrying out the planned attack. Deputies say they investigated previous rants of Roger, but found no reason to take action. In the aftermath of this senseless act, the father of one victim is making a forceful appeal through his grief. 20-year-old Christopher Martinez was the last of the six people killed in that rampage near UC Santa Barbara. In a heartbreaking speech, his father says more aggressive gun control policies could have prevented this tragedy. Here is Richard Martinez in his own words. Christopher Ross Michaels Martinez was born December 23, 1993 in San Luis Obispo, California. He was our only child and he died Friday night. He was very smart, very active. He loved reading, loved sports, movies. He was looking forward to going to breakfast tomorrow with his new girlfriend and her family. He hadn't met them yet. And if you talk to kids that played with him on sports teams, you'd find that this was a kid that led through energy, example, and never giving up. He was so much a part of our lives that it's hard to imagine how things are going to be like now that he's gone. If we have to live with this, we want to do what we can so nobody else has to go through this. Nobody needs to own three semi-automatic handguns. It doesn't make sense. The solution to the problem of gun violence in America will take a lot of people working on different aspects of the problem. Mental health, violence, and the intimidation of women. What we're trying to do is try to understand why Chris died and try to make it mean something. The story sparking an intense conversation on social media this noon. Much more on that, plus an update on the investigation is ahead in our next half hour.